another episode of Not So Secret Diaries. Today, I will take you to Paris. So, are you excited to visit that place? Come with me. Paris, which is commonly known as Paris in French, it does not require any kind of introduction because of its marvelous architecture and monuments, especially the Eiffel Tower. The first place where I am going to take you is the Louvre Museum. To know more about the Louvre, let's go back in time in the 12th century when it was a fortress. Before becoming the famous Louvre Museum, this place was a home to several generations of kings. King Henry IV was one amongst them who started a ritual known as the Royal Touch in the Louvre Hall. Now come to the Pyramid of Louvre. In 1983, a Chinese architect whose name was I. M. Pai was called by the French president of that time, Mr. Francois Metteron, to revive the deteriorating structure. Mr. Pai took some time to think over the design, but when he unveiled the design, the Parisians were offended. In fact, a critic from the New York Times even wrote the pyramid as a gigantic ruinous gadget. The pyramid was widely regarded at that time as a modernist eyesore that contrasted sharply with its baroque surrounds. Pai's criticism would have been gentler if they had known that how attentively he sought to match his design to the surrounding terrain. Now let's see what lies beneath the pyramid. Oh, it's an inverted pyramid. The next place is Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe is a large triumphal arc in Paris, France and one of the most famous historical monuments in the world. The Arc de Triomphe, which took 30 years to construct, is a symbol of French national identity. The names of the military leaders of the French Revolution and Empire are carved on the inner facade of small arches. The perpetual flame of remembrance put on the grave is a remembrance of the Western version of Rome whose flame was extinguished in 394 by barbarian assaults.
Woohoo! Let's take a walk in the city center. Oh ho, Champelizi! Oh ho, Champelizi! There's a song which you need to sing when you walk over here. And then I got to see this beautiful building while walking around the road. This is the Cathedral of Notre Dame, which I didn't get chance to see this time because it is still under construction after it caught fire. I hope next time I get to see this. Now you can see a cruise in the river scene. Now here comes the mean thing. Can you guess? Yes, it is the Eiffel Tower. Oh my god, it looks so mesmerizing. Now I will show you the transition from evening to night. The way it lights up is very beautiful.
here comes the surprise for you. This is a must watch thing. See the difference in the evening and the night? My next day started with an amazing breakfast where I had croissant, cornflakes, different type of bread, pancakes, etc. You can see the yum yum pancakes over here. You can also see different flavored yogurts and different flavored jams and there are some eggs also. Oh appetite! Yummy yummy breakfast! Now I am heading towards the Sacred Curve or Sacred Heart. I am taking this pinnacle to go uphill. of the Sacred Heart in Montmartre is France's second most visited religious monument after Notre Dame de Paris. This spectacular white stone church was consecrated in 1919 and is accessible by funicular railway or on foot after climbing the 222 steps from the square Louis Michel astonishes its beautiful architecture and dazzling white color.
despite of pollution and the passage of time the building has remained flawless since 1940 what is the secret the secret is when it rains the stone used for construction emit a white fluid called culet which makes the building look beautiful and white now you can have a mesmerizing look of whole city isn't it awesome and look at the architecture of this beautiful monument wow this is such a spectacular view There is a ritual to put a lock in this place. It is believed that if we put a lock and ask for a wish, that it will be granted soon. Let's see my wish gets fulfilled or not. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You are always welcome to write your suggestions in the comment box. Thank you once again. Bye bye.